دقیق معلوم نبود قاچاقبرا همیشه دروغ میگفت هر روز میگفت فردا شما را حرکت میدیم همیشه این روز فردا میکرد قیمت ها متفاوت بود ما سنو قایق داشتن تیوبی جتپور و تیزپه توسط یکی از آشنه همون که قبلا رفته بود اومده بود یعنی به اروپا معرفی شد به امون شماره شد داد به امون گفتش که این آدم آشناییه معتمده میتونید بشه اتمنان کنید چون ما جمعیت هم اکثران دختر بود و مردی هم رام نبود چون ما پول نداشتم تصمیم گرفتم که با تیوبی بروم خطرش هم بیشتر بود مبلغش از همه پایین تر بود ولی بازم توی همون قایق با هم فرق داشته من کمترین قیمت رو دادم 600 دولار اما تا جایی که یادمت به دلار حساب کرد بعد نمیدونم نفر 600 دلار بود یا نفر 700 دلار بود در شبای تاریک که خیلی تاریک ما بود به طرف هم زمانی که ما رد شدیم شب بود اکثر گیمایی که از سمت ترکیه در یونان میان شب میندازن چرا که تاریک دیگه ون اومد ما سوا کرد خیلی ون خیلی فشرده که چه نمیدونم سی و پر نفر جلوشی توی ون با صندلی نشسته بودیم که همه ما ونی که واقعا جای نفس کشیدن نبود با قاچاق بودیم دیگه راه قاچاق بود اجازه نمیدادم مثلا می پنجرش یک ذره ما حتی باز کنیم نفس بیاد تو راه ون و کلن من فقط دعا میخوندم یک آیه قرآن مدن و برای پرسی بود همش همون دعا رو کل مسیر همون رو فقط خونده اونجا همه هم تو فشرده فشرده تو هم دیگه نشستیم تا هشت ساعت فکر میکنم هشت ساعت تو کشید تا ما رسیدیم سر رسید نقطه ساکت باشه سا 
سر نقطه آب که رسیدیم به مامانم فقط پیام دادم دادم مامان ما داریم میریم زمان که از ترکیه به یونان رد میشیم دقیقا همون شب که ما گیر میزنیم یک جایی بود مثل همین جایی نیزار بود شب بود ساعت دوازده شب ایشالله که از زنده بودیم دو ساعت دیگه به طور بودا اگه دو ساعت رد شد نگران بشین ولی اگه دو ساعت دیدین زودتر بدیم برای هرچی من زودتر بتونم بتونم برای اینجا ولی اگه رد شد یک اتفاقی افتاده بازم نگران نشین اتمالا چیزی نشده ای به اونا دلداری دارن ولی با خواهم بودن اگه دو ساعت رد بشه مهدیم دیگه چون این آب دیگه دو ساعت بیشتر نیست قایق باید مردا داخل آب مینداختن در من فقط با خانمون بودم خیلی نگران در خانمون بودم وان کسی خیلی ترسناکی بود و خاطر که قبل از موچان خیلی غرق شده بود یک پر تیز پرم که دکو پرده بود تمام سرنشنای که مورده بود دیگه موم خیلی می ترسیدیم که بایدیم سر از موچی سفاق نسته بازی بلد نیستیم زلخه ای نجات داشت وقتی که از دریا رد می شدم چون اولین باری بود که من دریا رو از نزدیک می دیدم بعد تا به حال نه تجربهش داشتم که داخل دریا برم نه بلد بودم شنا کنم لحظه ترزناک دفعه اول ما وشتاد پنی نفر داخل قیق بودیم که خیلی سنگین هم بود لبه خیق و لبه ها برابر بود هر بار که دریا موز می زد آب می آمد داخل جوی رسید که من اصلا به شما می دونم می دونم نفرس هم بیره برم می دونم بوسایی می باز بیادم و مغلی فرس هم بوسایی می کشتم بودم می شما نفرس هم بیره برم به خاطر همین وحشت خودم با عنوان وادم بزرگ وحشت هم Thousand undocumented lost their lives in the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean became just a big grave. Please, it's not about few years ago, a time. No, until yesterday, they leave people suffering at sea, people calling in distress. 
and they repeat calling and they just leave them there let them die the whole situation is just like this we are here in Europe to see a different situation and to live in a better place for this people and my people and all the people that lost their lives we all are human beings and I say it again it's not a black white female male girl children may their souls rest in peace خواهشش بود میوف نرین مادر ولی ما بازم شک کردیم این سوما سوما ولا زیاد بود دیگر بسیار زیاد دیگر کالاشوی میکد ظرفا رو میشوش دیگر دیگ دیگ پخته میکد یعنی بسیار خوب چون افغانستان شرایط خوب ندارد رسانتر اولادا یعنی به یک تصمیم گرفتیم که پیش میریم اینجا هستن دیگه اولاد اینجا بسیار زندگی سخت هست خصوصا دیگه که به یک زن تناره که ببینن کلان دیگه یا دیگه چی بگیشانن من خود با دردست نمیتونم دیگه اسرام دیگه لایق است نام خدا خوب است دیگه حبیبم نام خدا خوب است از اما دیگه چی گفتنم میتونم گفتنم میتونم اون روزا من تو خانه را پاک میکردم گریان کردم زیاد اصلا بیشتر گفتنم میتونم تفلا را دیگه تارزو دارم که یا در یک جای دیگه برسن دیگه تحصیل کرده برای هم بسیار خواهد یک خوش دارم یک تحصیل کنن یا مکتب بخ... یک بخوانن تا این دی خوب یعنی داشته باشن I first joined with Sea Watch a German organization uh, that wanted to um, focus and highlight on the situation on the sea we had a lot of people drowning and at that time in the central Mediterranean, so on the waters between uh, Libya and Italy. We did search and rescue missions then in the Libyan Sea and we saved 4,000 people with this old boat. Whoever chooses to, to step on one of these boats must be really desperate. We faced a couple of situations where um, people were drowning, uh, where people were already drowned or dead. Um, we. Uh, got into a couple of situations where we had to deal with uh, shipwrecks. Uh, recently we have a lot of uh, women and children. If they have life jackets, they're most likely to be um, frauds. Um, they're not uh, safe things. They are actually kind of have an interior which, um, uh, which has the danger that it gets uh, sucked up with water and actually pulls the people down. Uh, it's, just, it's just really, really dangerous for the people, especially now when winter comes and uh, they have more clothes on and these are wet and they pull them down. In Europe you cannot ask for, for help as a refugee, uh, for asylum, uh, if you do not fall from the sky. The people have to step on these boats or they have to cross uh, the land border. We're closing Europe down. We are, we are building a huge fence on land and a deadly um, sea border um, around the islands and uh, our shores. I think I have been involved in around a hundred operations, both at land and at sea. And we have seen overcrowded boats with up to 70 people. First of all, what causes the death is the fact that they are crossing in the first place, which shouldn't be happening. 
I think it's a combination of the fact that the boats are not uh, properly made. They are not meant to be holding uh, a high number of people. The engines, which again are not proper engine, uh, the weather condition, the fact that the boats are driven by the refugees who have no uh, sea experience whatsoever. Some of them haven't even seen the sea. Um, so I think it's a combination of uh, factors and uh, also their own uh, emotion. It is extremely difficult to navigate from Turkey to Greece. Uh, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the sea, everything is dark. If the current is, um, is pushing you against Greece, uh, it might happen that your boat turns and you think that you are heading to Greece while you are actually heading back to Turkey. We are at around five nautical miles uh, away from Turkey and we are in one of the windiest parts of the island. Uh, the weather uh, and the wind uh, changes uh, relatively quickly. Even when we see that it's rough uh, over here, usually it looks calm in, uh, in Turkey because the mountains are stopping the wind. So for the first few hundred meters, uh, the water looks uh, completely calm, but as soon as uh, the boat enters uh, the open sea, then the wind and the waves. Uh, so for us, any refugee boat is a boat in distress. Shawaram dega kdelim dega jamud goftam buru shawaram au bazi goftam dega yad ast. Ami bara dohum ke me khas ke mara dega ke taraf e nami kube bara chum ma dega dai nami dega wasat bude. Me khas ke mara dega bikh ko dega bara. Dega bara dohum ami dega au dega ke fursat nadadi mara. Chun khoda ma dabe ni kisti ab mara dega tai nami sar ma ab kere. گشتی ده یک چپه شده بود این میکاپ تفلای خورد کلاگی شده یک زده بوده او کلا شده یک تیت دانه کده بوده خی دیگه که احساس کردیم که خلاص دیگه گفتیم دیگه که فامیل فامیل دیگه که رفتیم کلا ما می گفت او زن گفت میگن میگه که پانزه در قراز خب تو بدامه ما نداشتیم اون تفلک هم دیگه نداشتن هیچ کس نداشتیم چیخ می زدیم دیگه بر آسمان سعی می کردیم یکت که از اون طرف دیگه این می کشتی می آید دیگه آه دیگه که این می گروپ باز از اون دیگه من داخت دو بچه ایم دیگه که دبه این کشتی بود شکمک هایشان عذاب دیگه که پر بود ما دیگه چیخ می زدم دیگه که با شوارم دیگه که بمی دریا چیخ می زدم می افتم شما ماندین دیگه کشتی در دیگه وقتی که این می کشتی که کشتی ما که عرکت کرد نگه که دختره که خوردم دیگه پنج ساله بود و دختره که هشده ساله من که به چیز بازو دیگه شوارم ای سه تا من در اینی سمال کمیونیتی اینیوه دی انفرسترکچر is set up to deal with normal life with small populations. Mm. When something abnormal happens, uh, those systems are seriously tested. And then you will find that the local emergency services and uh, are stretched and often beyond capacity. But we, we know from the last few years that these have become normal and many hundreds of millions of euros in, in the European context have been put into uh, the situation on the, the Mediterranean borders around Greece and, and Italy. Uh, there hasn't been a corresponding um, increase in resources and expertise given to the resolution of issues for families where they've experienced shipwrecks and, uh, and deaths. The police generally uh, are not greatly involved unless they're persuaded that a crime has been committed and these deaths are not, uh, as a general rule, treated as crimes. The coroner on the, the island of Lesbos uh, is also responsible for providing those services on other Aegean islands, so it's not even one whole person. It's a tragic catastrophe to see now νεκρά μωρά, αθώες ψυχές, ε, ε, να έχουν πνιγεί στη θάλασσα, γιατί ο πνιγμός στη θάλασσα θεωρείται και βίος θάνατος. 
Είμαι ο μοναδικός ιατροδικαστής ε, ε, του Γενικού Νοσοκομείου Μητυλίνης. Συνεχίζω πάλι και, και με τη Μητυλίνη ε, και με, πηγαίνω και στη Λίμνο ε, και έχω πάει και σε μερικές περιπτώσεις στη Σάμο. Ε, σε συνεργασία με το Λίμεν Αρχείο, επειδή είναι στη θάλασσα, όταν υπάρχει ένας νεκρός, ε, πρώτα κοιτάμε αν υπάρχει αναγνώριση και στέλνεται μία παραγγελία σε μένα από το Λίμεν Αρχείο. Ε, αν δεν υπάρχει αναγνώριση, γίνονται πάλι οι διαδικασίες που πρέπει να γίνουν, DNA, τοξικολογικές, γίνεται νεκροψία, νεκροτομή ε, και όλα αυτά, όλες οι διαδικασίες οι προβλεπόμενες. Ειδικά, αν έχει και κάποια χειρουργική ουλή, ε, κάποιο χειρουργείο δηλαδή, ε, έχει κάνει κάποιο χειρουργείο παλαιότερα, αν έχει κάποιο τατουάζ. Μόλιβος, we just suddenly faced a crazy amount of people coming out with plastic boats. I think everybody saw the first uh, time that uh, the port police guards have been bringing out bodies. Yes, I remember, but I don't want to remember. And uh, I presume that there are many people that they died and nobody knows they died. Μέχρι πριν περίπου δύο με τρεις μήνες είχαμε και μία αναγνώριση από το, 2000, από το ναυάγιο του 2000, τον Οκτώβριο του 2015 έγινε τώρα πριν δύο τρεις μήνες. Με, με DNA πάλι, φυσικά. The mother, father, dead. And to an, πώς λέγεται ο θείος, uh, uncle, speak uh, the babies where is uh, where is the babies four four children four children where is the four children and uh, i take before uh, dna for uh, mother and father and i give the dna to athens this ke vrikane ta tria apo ta tesera to tetarto den ichar οι νεκροί βρίσκονται στο κάτω τρίτος. Έχουν γίνει ταφές, αξιοπρεπέστατα, στο κάτω τρίτος. Πού είναι αυτό εδώ, εδώ είναι αυτό το βιλιά, οπότε όπου το βλέπουμε, δεν έχω δει κανέναν που σημαίνει για την ψυχολογική σημαντική. Έχω δει την νύχτα, έχω δει την νύχτα, έχω δει την νύχτα, έχω δει έναν άλλο παιδί που έρχεται από το βιλιά, αλλά πιστεύω ότι είμαστε αυτό το βιλιά. But you think we are what tough enough, and we don't need this kind of support. We need support. When he is a nekros, 45 meres, 45 meres, he is a nekros. He must be taken to a hospital, and he is known for his knowledge. We have a psychiatric container that is 12 meters, 12 meters, and it is about three. Αυτό, ε, η θερμοκρασία που μπορεί να φτάσει είναι μέχρι μείον 25 βαθμούς. Ε, στο ψυγείο έχουμε χωράσει ε, 85 νεκρούς τον Οκτώβριο του 2015. Ε, το ψυγείο μας έχει έρθει από το εξωτερικό, από την ε, Αγγλία, από μια ε, κυρία πρώην, ε, από μια κυρία πρώην ε, δικαστικός. I think we need to approach it from the point of view that, that one such death is one too many uh, uh, as a starting point. Um, but we also need to take on board the number, of, the number of people who are on the move internationally and the fact that that will only increase uh, as time goes on for a variety of reasons, for, for wars, for uh, issues arising out of uh, climate change, for example. So we do need to, we do need to be um, preparing Uh, ourselves in compliance with the, with the with the duties and obligations that exist for states. What we call on states uh, and other authorities to do uh, is to respect the, the duties that exist. We aren't asking them to do anything new and I think that, that's a uh, key uh, part of the Mitterlini Declaration. These are, these are duties that exist. 
خدا هم بچی دیگه وضعیت بودیم به حد یعنی خب می دویدیم می دویدیم دیگه نمی فامیدیم با او کشتی می دویدیم که دخترم نیست می افتم شاورم نیست می افتم دختره که خوردم نیست یعنی وقتی که رفتم دخترم که دیدم از پشت ما دیگه که کشتی دوم که آمد که رفتم دیدم آدیگ می دویدم دیگه که رفتم کمی دختره کم افتادگی می خواستم شکم شه گفتم پچه کنم اگه گفتم آب باشه دیدم نبود تاپ نبود بیاد یعنی مشکل بود بیاد دگر چشمک هایشه که دیدم سرخ گشته بود بیاد یعنی مشکل بود باز یک بار می دویدم و پولیس هم میفتم شعورم نیست باز دگه می فامیدم می گفتم نیست ولی عشقم با این نمی شد ولی چیخ می زدیم صرف چیخ می زدیم صرف چیخ می زدیم صرف دیگه چیخ می زدم باز گفتم که دختره که خوردم نیست باز رفتم دگه در بغل یک اینه می دیگه خارجی بود گفت ای دختر از توست من که سعی کردم از دست که چیخ زده بودم از دست که دیگه وحشت مرا دیگه زده بود که آدسی که دیگه ناگه آنی شد سرمه هیچ اصلا فکرش نمی کردم که تو روز دیگه بسرم بفته هیچ اصلا فکر دیگه نمی کردم گفتم ای, ای, ای طفل گفتم از من نیست طفل خود دیگه نمی شناختم گفتم ای از من نیست I can say that half of my life it was dealing with dead bodies I had so many calls that they were, they were calling me that yeah I have missed my son, my daughter for so long years I don't know where he is And actually last night I had uh, uh, two calls from Iran and I had the, the SMS from a mom that she is looking, an Iranian mom, that she is looking for her daughter which is 18 years old and she is looking, it is two years that she is looking for her daughter. And I remember that, that uh, one uh, man from Afghanistan, that, that uh, he died here in Athens and we didn't know what to do. And I put in Facebook his, his name and we found his brother from Australia. He sent money here and we sent the dead body to Afghanistan. So because there is no graveyard here. وقتی که دیگه در شفاخانه که بودیم و ورک از بیا گفت که مردای خدا گفت نه که شناسایی کنن. وقتی که پایین شدم با بسیار مشکل یعنی پای بسیار سوستی به حد یعنی بسیار در وضعیت دیگه بد بودم بسیار زیاد. پایایم دیگه ما تو دیگه کش بسیار یعنی دیگه که در وضعیت خراب بودم خب آمدم آستا آستا دیگه پایین شدم دیگه دونم یه چی دیگه سردخانه پایین شدم وقتی که دیدم دیگه دختره کنم بود دیگه رفتم که دخترم به حد یادی مشکل بود به حد وقتی دیگه باور کردم که دیگه دخترم نیست دیگه گفتم دخترم زنده نیست در می روی اکش دیگه دست دیگه زدم باز گفتم می خواهیم گفتم که شوهر ما گفتم ببینم باز گفت که شوهر تا گفت از دور گفت ببین فرم 2000 تا 2009 یعنی نمی روزی کنم این سنه نمی After 2010, look at the number of women. Here, they start the Syrian war. And now, immigrants is not one young man, 20-25 years old, who wants to go somewhere in Europe to work. Now we have a family. This is the map. Only from the Greek side. Okay. It's about 359 plus 39 plus 21. So about 400 people. But the most important for us is this, is these photos, look. This is the case. The most of them still died in the river Ebros. And we found after 20 days, one month, three months, maybe six months, depends. And look how we found. This guy is about uh, 20 days in the water. It's, it's, it's impossible to take a photo and you see the photos in another people and I have identification for this. In this case, 
I found one man from Morocco with all these personal belongings. Look, Morocco. This is post mortal injuries eating from the pieces in the water. Look, how the body happened. Look. What is this? Is this skin? This is skin, yes. Because it's 20 days in the water. We take uh, always photos from the number of shoes. We take from tattoo, from uh, some operation, everything. Because it's without name, we have nothing. Turkish flag, yes. But for at the moment, it's one man without name for me. I don't know. But if some relatives, he knows this drink, For all these bodies, I take DNA. I take DNA from the relatives. I send DNA samples in the criminal laboratory in Athens. There is a database. And I have a identification. I have your name. I have everything. When we, when we look at Greece, uh, what we know from the, DNA, the centralized uh, DNA database that we have here in Greece, we know they have about 850 um, uh, DNA uh, profiles of unidentified remains at the moment. And the last majority, an estimate at 80%, are believed to be migrants. So there should be, for example, some sort of tracking mechanism. So for when, the, for example, the funeral, funeral director will take the body and bury it in a certain location, there should be a record somewhere to say, okay, this specific body is actually buried in this location. Now, this could be a death certificate, for example, or this could be records from the pathologist or anywhere. It should be recorded somewhere. And I think this is one of the biggest problems that we face now, is that even if families are that uh, remains are identified, we don't know where the bodies are because there is no proper tracking system. We've done research in, uh, in 34 cemeteries so far in the last year, and we found about 960 um, uh, remains or basically burial locations of, uh, of migrants. But only in 40% there is a marker to say, okay, this specific body is here. There were so many dead bodies that it was a process that I had the list and the photos of the people and I should open, you know, it was the, f the refrigerator to open it, to take it out. Then there was a, like a bag that they were in, plastic bag that they were inside, opening the plastic bag and looking the face. So it was really a uh, difficult time for me and most of the time I had nightmare. Uh, Even now, for two things in my life, I have still I have nightmares. It is one for Taliban that they are chasing me <laughs> and uh, chasing girls like this, and another it is uh, it is uh, looking the face of these uh, uh, peoples. So money like this. Look, uh, f from the first, I'm not a religious person, so I don't believe to that. That is from the religious point. What is what is uh, what what I have here about that. But I have studied medicines, and I know psychology, and I know the feeling of a mom, a relatives, a dad, and I know I can understand the dreams and. The, the dreams of these people, that, that why they left their homeland and why they came here and very badly they lost their life and in a very bad situation. And their last right, which is to be respected as a dead body, that it is not happening, it is so uh, painful. It is really uh, painful. And then thinking that, that when one person is dying here, it doesn't mean that it's finished. It means that the families are back If you cannot find the, the relatives, so always you are suffering. Esro yak bordek mi khizadek mi pola mara, mega bosh mega kmadaram chushod. Yani bazam yak yak esos mi kona mega bosh kmega kpadaram yani raf bosh kmega kmadaram mas yani. 
یک بار یک دک تکان دک میخوره خب شوارم مت من و می فکر باشه که چرا که شوارم همی که جنازه شان هم دیگه که یک تسلیم که شدیم دیگه چشمای شوارم باز خیلی یعنی در وضعیت بد جان داده بود به حد فکر نارام بوده جان داده به حد به حد جان دادنش به حد یعنی که این دختره که خوردم دیگه دیده بود اینمی دختر خوردم آخری نفر بود که از قات اینمی مردا گرفته بودن دیگه پنج ساله دختر بود می دیگه جان کندن پدر شدیده یعنی فکر میکنی همین قدر که تو بیت ها هستی اینمی آلی مثلا روح شوالت و می خواهم بیت ها هست آلی بچه ها خود می تبه بله ست فی ست بله بله چطور نه چون که شوارم بسیار یعنی کوشش میگه که اولادای میانی در یک جای میگفت که میگفت که داکتر برای انجینیر برای یعنی به می فکر بود همیشه یعنی We don't know It's something from a, a good luck something like this I don't know what exactly is but one black man from Nigeria or Somalia before 10 years ago this person I believe yes. Look, it was not identified? Yes, it's not identified. And look at this. Everything is it has this unique number. It, uh, yes, yes. Mm. What do you want? You have everything here. If someone relatives comes here, they see the, 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 the personal belongings. And maybe if someone is this, you think, ah, this is my cousin. Automatically, I have a DNA. I take DNA and I have identification. For this reason, it's very important for me the, the, the personal belongings. And everything is with this unique number. Everything. So, did you come up with this system or is it uh, all around Greece like this? No, it's only me. Only me. Because it, uh, I work here from 2000. And I have in my protocol from this because you see how how is the situation it's not like the islands the islands the body is fresh mm -hmm. you can to take the photo and the island it's easy to to, to give the photos in another immigrant and you see how is it, who is this and they take the answer ah this is a Mohammed mm -hmm. but here we found after 20 days after one month after three months it's difficult. I can to take the photos, and I can to. And if I have a photo, and another immigrant, where is it? I don't know. And for this reason, it's very, very difficult. And for this reason, I have this special protocol. What's a passive family? Did you have many children? Uh, no, I have uh, all these years. I have about six, seven, seven uh, children. But the problem is. Uh, we must have found more because the most of them children they eating from the fishes in the water because the boat is small. Uh, it, the most important for me is respect. Respect from the body, from the deaf men, and respect from the relatives who wait some some news from someone. I give some answers. It's not good answer. It's bad answer. But from the relatives. It's answer. There is no uh, symmetry for Muslim people here. You have the right to bury the dead bodies in Piranis Christo, exactly there. But the problem is that it is for Christians. After three years that they will uh, take out the dead bodies. For Muslims it is not, uh, it is forbidden to do that. That's another problem. But most of the, the bodies that are identified are brought to Efros. That is one in Comatini, for example, a Muslim cemetery. So some of the remains from the islands are basically buried, buried over there because this is a, a Muslim cemetery and uh, basically uh, by, uh, which is also um, maintained by the Muslim authority there. And some of the remains that have been identified are buried in the specific location on the request from the families. We had really, they helped us and we were communicating with them. So most of the dead bodies that we transferred to Komotini, 
in Kumutini now you can find a big symmetry of Muslim peoples with names or without names you can find. You can find the mufti or the, uh, the religious person, the priest that you can find that he's responsible for that. They helped us, but the problem was also transferring from Athens to Komutini, which is almost 1,000 euro it was. Well, still about 2016, all of the remains of the, the migrants were, were buried in a Muslim cemetery, uh, uh, where basically is a landfill site, uh, just uh, near Didimotigo, which is uh, a place uh, more north uh, from Alexandropoli. The landfill site is, is called Sidero, and uh, we, we estimate about 400 uh, remains are buried in this particular place. However, uh, there is no map of the place, there is no gravestones on the grave, so it's just a flat site of, uh, yeah, and it's hardly to see if you don't know that this is a cemetery, a mass grave actually, I would say, then nobody would know that this is actually a location where about 400 migrants are, are buried. So they are here in the hospital. Where are they buried usually? In Orsiada? Or? Uh, now in the Orsiada, in the new cemetery in Orsiada, because before the years, the, most of them is from uh, people from uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, from the uh, Middle East, and it's Muslim. But now we don't know because we have many people from Syria, it's Christians. For this reason, we take a, a political uh, a cemetery in New Orsiada from this unique number. But those can be used also for families to, to try to trace uh, relatives and friends who've gone missing on those routes. And again, that's uh, a lot of that is an informal network, word of mouth, just keeping in contact. It's also in, in international law that everyone has a right to identity which means the, the appropriate steps must be followed and all the steps must be taken to ensure that the body is properly identified, so given a name. Yes, I think that's why we're calling for the national mechanisms, Absolutely. which would then be in contact regionally and internationally. So there would be a safe space in which to do that, because although it's right that there is the International Committee of the Red Cross and, uh, and, the, and the local Red Cross who do the, tra the family tracing work, there isn't always trust there. So there are the individual um, individuals using various forms of social media. This case from Algeria, if you want one, right? This is the last. You can do it first. I think when some people is dying, if especially refugee when it is dying, migrant is, it is dying, I think it is the last right, the last right of this person that should be respected this body and especially for the relatives, it is so important to know what happened with them. Not just to know about the, the dead body. For me, it is important to repatriate these bodies to the, uh, to the countries where, where they came from. Psychologically, for the relatives, it is so important. Any Muslim after that, this uh, point here is a uh, fast for uh, Mecca, Kaaba. Yes. بله آش آش شوارم که بود دگه یه وقت باز از او دیگه نمیماند که موی خورده که قیچی میکردم میفت نکو میفت اینا می رقم خوبه این درده که من دیدم دلم دکام با قوت شد میگفتم در یک جای برسان چون تا نفتی سرپای استاد شده نمیتونی او گار شوی که استاد شوی پس با هو دل زخمی میانه ما بازم قوت کردم 
میانه میگفتم پناه به خدا هر وقت میگفتم تو خدا در تسلیم خداوند خدا میکرده میفتیم تو از ما امایت کن دل شکسته هستم خیلی یعنی ناامید هستم به حد یعنی ناامید هستم بازا وقت خیلی خدا تنها میکنم میساز به حد ولی خدا از دست نمیدون ولی خدا هیچ وقت از دست نمیدون اگر من که از دست رفتم اولاده این بازا به سر نوشت میمانم همه قدر یک خواهش دارم همی صدای مارد که برسانن که من یک مادر درد یعنی به حد یعنی مشکلات دیده به حد یعنی یا باید صدای ما را بشنوند صدای دل ما، صدای قلب ما یا باید بشنوند اینه می داروزو دارم که اولادایم در یک جای برسه اینه می بس As you see, the problem, it's much bigger. It's not the problem of Lesbos, it's not the problem of Mytilene, it's not the problem of Greece, it's a problem of the world. because I want uh, international protection. Let's think to our future, what's going to be our future.
به امید آینده بهتر، به امید تحصیلات، به امید یه جای بهتر واسه زندگی. Nobody don't have distinction like this is Christian, this is Muslim. We are the same person. We take all the hand. We say God please help us. که شهر ما افغانستان هیچ امنیتی وجود نداره که ما بخوایم در اونجا بمانیم. One my brother moved to Germany. احساس خیلی خوبی داشتم چون ترکیه رو پوشی سر گذاشتم. ما جونم اونجا خیلی تو خطره به خاطر من تصمیم گرفتم بیام طرف اروپا. دو بار در گوش بچه پسر بزرگم بهش گفتم بابا بعد ما مرد خانه توی. زمین هایی که داشتیم همهش تحت تصرفی اونا بود دونستم واسطادم بعدی که نگاه کردیم چقدر قایق شلوغه اصلا تصورم نبود که از طرفی هم دیگه همه از جون خودمون سیر بودیم یعنی حس میکردیم بریم جلو غرق هم بشه قایق ما چی بشه از زندگی کردن توی توکیه بهتر Think that our children is like your children Our hopes is like your hopes You are human the same as you are human.